find the removable and non-removable discontinuities of this function here, solution. So we have a rational function, and it looks like we can factor it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have x plus 1. And in the denominator, we need two numbers that multiply to 2 and add to 3, so 1 and 2. So x plus 1 and x plus 2. So we're asked to find the removable and non-removable discontinuities. So you could take a limit here, and basically, if you take the limit as x approaches c of f of x, and you get l, and c is a discontinuity of f, and this limit exists, uh, then, then it's removable. If the limit does not exist, it's not removable. However, in this problem, we don't have to worry about any of this. Uh, we have a rational function, and for rational functions, two things happen. If we have a vertical asymptote, it's non-removable. And if you have a hole in the rational function, it's removable. Again, this works for rational functions only, which is what we have here. So how do you know you have a hole? Well, cancellation uh, leads to a hole in a rational function. So this is 1 over x plus 2. And you ask yourself, what makes this 0? Well, negative 1. So x equals negative 1. This guy here is removable. So that takes care of that. And then to find the VAs, after you simplify, which we did, you just set the bottom equal to 0. So you get x equals negative 2. This is a VA, so this is non-removable. And that's it. So again, for a rational function, all you do is simplify, factor, and cancel. Anything that cancels is going to give you a hole. And holes in rational functions are always removable. And then you find your VAs, and VAs are always non-removable. I hope that helps.